Hey guys, and welcome back to The Learning Droid. In this video, we're going to have a look at something very, very similar to the detail shading point, called the semi-hoop or semi-circle shading point. Same tools we needed for the last one, guys. We need the pliers we need for shaping, the same pliers we used for shaping in our branding bits video. So you need needle nose, normal, and snippers for cutting the wire. Already cut the wire, doesn't matter. You need a strike surface, hammer, and you need your machine ready. So guys, to make a semicircle branding tip, all you're going to do guys is start like we did with the semicircle, or semicircle shading bit, sorry. All you're going to do like we started with the semicircle branding tip, you're going to hold with your index finger on top of your needle nose pliers or your normal pliers about where you want the brand, uh, the width to be. Now you want a reasonably wide one guys because we're not looking for one that's the same as our um, detail shading point and these are very similar so bend it round just like before and there we have our semicircle and as I said guys if you want more details on how to make this section of it guys just have a peek over I'll annotate the appropriate video There we go. So there's our semicircle branding bit, guys. Now we're going to move on to, just as we did before, I'll speed this bit up, guys. Okay, guys, that's the sped up bit. So, just as before, guys, we've got our semicircle branding bit, we've got our striking, and we've got our hammer. I'll speed this bit up and remove the sounds, guys, but before we do, I'll talk a little bit about. So I have a couple of comments about this. You have to try and keep your strikes even, guys, and you have to try and keep them level. If that means standing up to do it, if it means sitting down to do it, you have to try and keep them even and level when you hit the um, bit that you're working on. And also, guys, if you get start to get a bulge somewhere, it means you're not keeping the strikes even and level, and this also means you're not looking as you do it. After each strike, you should look at what you've done, and you should try to make sure that you're striking evenly all the way around and evenly along. It does take a bit of practice guys but don't be worried if you make mistakes. So I'll take the sound out and speed this bit up guys because it's going to be lots of banging and lots of hammering. But if you'll notice guys after each every strike or every other strike I look to see how it's coming along. So let's speed this bit up. So guys, that will have been sped up. Okay, I have no idea what that was. I think I've broken something by sitting on it. Okay, so that was that bit sped up, guys. Um, turn this off before I start messing with that. And I'll just even out these tines. Like so. Ooh. Try not to break it. Okay, guys. So, as you saw, lots and lots of little strikes going to be a job for two pairs of pliers methinks because it's not bending the way I want it to. As you saw guys lots of little strikes, lots of gentle taps, lots of looking at what I'm doing and we end up with, if I move these out of the way, a hammered flat semicircle. Now it does need a little bit of shaping guys, it does need a little bit of tweaking with our pliers It takes time to get used to where you want things and how you need to bend them to get them there. And of course, because you've heated and hammered the wire, guys, it is going to be a bit more brittle, so try not to play with it too much. But don't be worried about playing with it, guys. I mean, this is like four P's worth of wire, four pence worth of wire. So if we make a mistake, guys, it doesn't really matter. So, there is a hammered flat hoop shader. I will do what I did with the last one, guys, which is I will show you 
how it shades. Just insert it into the machine. Yes, it's ugly, but that's okay. So just burn off the excess oil, burn off the excess thing. And there we go. We've got our hoop shader, guys. And this thing shades in an area, guys, that's much larger than we had before. Takes a little bit longer to heat up, but to be honest, guys, I'm not a huge fan of this particular kind of shader. But as I'd done the semicircle brand tip, I thought I'd show you how to make this one as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again next time.